Hey everyone, welcome to this Zwift companion app walkthrough or tutorial. So here I am just downloaded the app and uh, logging in with my Zwift credentials. At the moment I had Zwift open on my laptop as well. So this will actually marry up or bridge connect between your laptop and your phone, offering you some more freedom to interact with other people and on your own ride using your phone as opposed to trying to reach over and hit a keyboard and whatnot. So this is the Zwift home screen app. You've got activities. Um, if you need to do any updates, that'll be done on the very first, you know, whenever up new updates come in, that'll be at the top of the screen. So you've got your activities, you've got events, uh, you've got notifications if people follow you you can follow them back as you can see what I'm doing right here then you also have your home bar which has your home activities notifications you can set goals if you want so you can have weekly and monthly distance and time goals uh, so you can edit those and set those kind of goals for yourself whether it's with your training or whether you are just trying to make, hold yourself accountable, you can set those goals up here. And there we go. There's the first goal set up. So in the events tab too, there's lots of events. There's always lots of events going on daily that will be tailored to your specific fitness level based on your watts per kilogram and then again the activities are people that you follow it'll show you their activities that you can ride on and support these are the people that are Zwifting now you can go and follow those ride along with them if you're just watching and go from there so that is the Zwift home screen now once you're into your own workout and you're actually pedaling, uh, the larger gray square in the top right hand corner, that is actually where your ride statistics, your wattage, RPM, uh, your heart rate will populate. Then you also have your map, which is the main base of the screen, the whole base of the screen. And then you also have where that stop button is, the red, lower yellow. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. Uh, orange portion. That's where you can stop. You yep. have your other functions for high fiving, waving, ride on, U turn. Oh All of your Swift functions are down at that table. Now that circle that just looks like a little sun. That will be where you get your. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Power ups. Once you start riding, this is actually when you're in a workout mode. This screen is actually showing you, and in this one in particular, this is the shorter FTP test. This shows you the next coming sequences in the workout that you currently have going on. The gray bar, think of this as a speedometer in terms for wattage. And you're basically, while you're working out, you're trying to keep the white bar, which will start to move in a little bit. I'm just pairing my sensors first. You wanna keep that white center speed line basically your you know your red line or your rev limiter you want to keep that in the gray bar as you progress Zwift will not forward your time clock for the workout if your your actual needle is not in the gray area whether it's over or under so even if you're overachieving that current mark it's not going to progress that's how it keeps you in your power zones when you're doing workouts so that's how this will function and this will come up on the companion app on the zwift companion app while you are doing a workout so that's a brief overview hopefully you enjoyed this video learn something new we have new videos coming out and again thank you for your support thank you for watching have a good day and we'll see you out there